Hello everybody. Today we'll be taking a look at Cooper's Halo Home Quick Link Low Voltage Kit. It comes with four micro edge smart downlights, one remote driver, and a low voltage cable. Each downlight is six inches in diameter and they don't require a bridge or a hub to run them with. All you need is a mobile device and the Halo Home app. Each light is canless and can provide up to 950 lumens of brightness at 60 watt equivalency. You can also remotely control the whiteness of each individual LED from 2700K to 5000K. There is 35 feet of low voltage cable included with the kit. Connectors are quick and easy to install and can save up to 85% of installation time over a conventional installation. The lifespan of each LED is 22 years based on six hours of usage per day. These lights are really thin and can be installed in some really tight places. The Halo Home app allows you to control and operate your down lights locally from your mobile device. If you need off-site control of your down lights, use the optional Halo Home Bridge. The app is also friendly with all of the other Halo Home products. These down lights have been designed to be do-it-yourself friendly. There's a single power supply that runs all four of the downlights. In fact, it can power up to nine downlights if you choose to get more. The Cooper Company is located in Peachtree City, Georgia, and the product is made in China. Let's open the box and see what is inside. Instructions, and they look very well illustrated. That's good news. And there's the cutout template for making the holes that your lamps will fit in. This note invites us to take a look at the other Halo Home products. This tells us where to download the Halo Home app from and a link to the quick start guide. Here are the labels for the low voltage cable. That makes it a little easier to identify your low voltage cable in those dark plenums. As you can see, each downlight is individually packaged in its own cardboard holder. Let's unlatch it and take a closer look. There's the connector junction and the Bluetooth module. And those are the clips that secure the downlight into the 6 inch opening in your ceiling. It's also nice to note that the fixture is UL certified. The downlight looks and feels well made. Bluetooth transceiver is well documented. This connector looks interesting. There are three other downlights packaged within the box. Each one is just like the first one. In the bottom of the box is the power supply and the 35 foot of cable. The cable is pre-attached as you can see and once again, Halo Home does a really good job of documenting exactly what is inside of each one of these packages. I like that the low voltage cable has been secured with a reusable tie wrap. And there's that label that we saw earlier. Now the power supply is actually composed of two separate modules. One is hinged. Here's a standard half inch electrical knockout and it looks like there's two single wire grommets available. When unlatched the module is actually two and this demonstrates why you need that hinge. Under the shorter left hand module are the AC hot, neutral, and ground wires. Each wire has been terminated with a quick connect and I'll show you how to use that later on in the video. The low voltage wire is well secured with that pinch from it and it looks like we are ready to move on to installing the app. I decided to try the QR code that was printed on the instruction sheet hoping that it would go to the Google Play Store and or give me a choice at least. However, it actually takes you to the Halo Smart Home Quick Help Guide and as you can see I had to manually navigate to the 
Play Store so that I could download the Halo Home app. I found the app, although I was a little disappointed to see that it was only rated at 2.2 stars out of 5. However, it downloaded without incident and installed very quickly. So the first thing you have to do, of course, is register the app. To authenticate your identity, the app requires you to enter a security code that is sent to your email of record. And once you do that, you're almost there. Although it got a little bit confusing towards the end, I finally managed to stumble my way into a working app. It seemed like choosing skip here never really seemed to work, but I eventually did get into the app. Once in, the app did seem to be well written, and things worked as you would expect them to work. In fact, it was almost intuitive. You can operate the downlights either in an individual mode or move them all into a group, which is what I'm doing here. Once the downlights are in a group, they respond identically to a single command, which makes it convenient in most circumstances. However, you can still operate the lamps individually if you so desire. You can program your down lights to operate on a schedule. You just have to set it up within the app. And there's also this countdown mode that will apparently flash the lights once it has reached the end of the countdown. Here is what my electrical compartment looked like after I have attached the AC line to it. I chose to mount the power supply to one of my ceiling rafters. And I'm using a mounting frame between the rafters to put my down lights into. Then, using a rule of thumb, I estimated how much slack I needed in the low voltage power line, and I'm going to make my connection. Begin by unscrewing the two piece connector. One side has a slot in it that you will insert the low voltage cable into, the other side will fit over the slotted cable side. It's keyed so it can only go in one way. You twist the non-slotted side down until the copper stakes inside puncture insulation on the low voltage cable and makes contact with the copper conductors inside of the cable. I'll be using all 35 foot of the cable so the end of the cable will need to be terminated or covered over to protect the exposed wires. The protective cover is supplied in the kit, but just make sure that you leave yourself enough room on the end to insert the wire into this protective cover and clamp it down. So now all of my lamps have been installed and the low voltage wire has been attached to each one. What we need to do now is to clean up the loose wires and we'll be using these safety staples to do that with. I was careful not to hit the wires while I was hammering that staple in. Next I used tie wraps to pull my loose wires together. It's not really necessary but it does make the installation look a little cleaner. Let's try the app out and see if my wiring is good. Wow, look at that. Pretty neat. This is where I am operating the downlights in the individual mode. And as you can see, I can turn them off and on and adjust the color temperature of each lamp separately. Next we'll go into the group mode where a single command operates all four of the down lights at once. I just changed the color temperature and we're going to dim the down lights and brighten them back up. 
all in unison. It's good to know that electrically my installation is good. Thanks for watching and I hope that you found my video helpful.